Sorry, folks. Again, Monday's not my normal stream day. Uh, so I, <laughs> I usually have a bunch of phone calls and things that I have to take care of today. So I, I have to tail take them. I can't tell people never call me ever. Although I would love to do that because I hate talking on the phone. Batman. Bat Bat. Meme Bat. Wayne. Oh, Wayne. 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 Wayne... Wayne the Bat. Love it. Okay. We're not- we're not keeping that fucker. It was just like for completionist's sake. We got enough flying going on. What happened to all the rock dudes? The Geo dudes, rather. Why am I suddenly getting goddamn bats? Oh, I could rock smash and maybe- yeah, that's true. Catch a Geo dude. Now, of course, Putsin's only level 2. Although, we could level him up just to scooch here and see if we can catch Geodude. Whatever. We're, we're at least going to see everyone. I killed all of them. Evolved Zubats are actually pretty good. I know to, f to finish the National Poké... Okay, I'm confused. How the hell do I get to these things, then? Could I'll explain to you. I, I looked into that. So the to, to pipe the actual DS, you need like all kinds of special hardware. Or you can Um you can sort of what what's the word? You can like un unlock it and install custom firmware that can stream it or something like that. Uh, Oh! I can walk down here! Ah ha ha! It's just doing well. I can't walk past this, this blue thing, so I just can't. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Maybe challenge the battles, uh huh. Thought we were rocks, but they started moving. Yep. Oh, tried interacting with that stuff because it looked like it might be might have things in it. Your flying type perfectly rec recommend Zubat as Starly has problems with his moves not being the best with his stats. So, I can't seem to go through there. I can go around here. Oh! Oh. It's like, oh, I found some, some special loots! But no. Damn it! Keep overshooting people. Hard, hard work. You like being around the Pokemon? Take one of these. A super potion! Excellent. I'm betting it's like too much healing for now, but that's alright. A little, oh, there's a little house here. Forty-five to seventy-five USD for a video out mod. Oh, I thought it was like three hundred. Maybe I was looking for the, uh, I was looking for the two DS or whatever, the two DS slash three DS. They were way more expensive because I was like, oh, I could stream some Cold Set Revolt, and I was like, oh no, that's terrible. I don't want to do that. But okay, if it's cheaper for an actual just DS one, then maybe. So I've been to the other side there. Oh yes, I talked to her before. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's heal. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep the Zubat around for now. Just you know, extra backup Pokemon. That's fine. I need a drink. Beverage. So, where's the shop? I don't know. I guess I'll check out all these buildings. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. You guys, <laughs> if there's any buildings I should go into because there's, like, loot or something relevant, let me know. But otherwise, I'm like, meh. What is this place? Oh, a museum. So presumably I could go right to the gym, but I won't... Where the hell is the shop? Does this town not have a shop? Wait. No, that's the gym. The shop's a blue building. 
There it is. Man. Mining museum has fossils in it. Is that is that a good thing? So I still have a couple antidotes, a couple of paralyzed heals, just in case. Um, I'm getting a little lower in Pokeballs. Tell you what, I will buy, because apparently the magic number to buy is 10 Pokeballs, because you get a bonus one. Yay! And I'll buy as many potions as I can buy, which is only four. And probably I overdid it with the Pokeballs, because I still have plenty. But, hello. Badges. Badges are good. You get more stuff in Pokemarts. Uh-huh. Wait. They offer different types of merchandise? Each person? What? Stationery featuring a print of a dimly... Heel balls. Netball. Oh! Okay. It's a bonus against different types of Pokemans. Pokemans. Pokemans! There are no fossils in the museum, but when you get one, you can go to the museum to revive the fossil into a cool Pokemon. Oh, neat! Okay. All right, let's go gym battle. There's a dust ball you can obtain from a girl on the second floor of the northwesternmost building. Second floor. Need the goggles? The googles? Sweet! So it's effective against a particular thing. Okay. Get better Pokeballs later. I don't think I'll buy any more of the regular... Well, we'll see. I mean, if I run out, I run out, and then we buy some more. But that's the last time I'm planning on buying some. I just wanted to do... Because I didn't have a lot, and I wanted to get a big bulk thing. So... Said really impatient boy. Gym leaders use a rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hit water. Yes, they're also weak to grass-type moves. How is rock weak, work, weak to grass? I guess grass can, like, crack rock when you're growing through it, right? You get those roots coming in? Sure. Oh, I could have skipped... Oh, I see. I could have skipped these... Tra this, I mean... Unless these trainers reset every time I come through, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't just fight all the trainers for maximum XP. I mean, unless you're going for a speed run, but I can just... Basic Pokeballs are good enough. The Ultra Balls, only a two times catch bonus over regular balls. Huh? Used to be a guy who did mods for cheaper... Oh, okay. And, you know, maybe I can find a local guy to, to mod my DS. Or more importantly, the, the 2DS. Because I would love... Well, the time required to do like a full Let's Play of something like Cult Set would probably be ridiculous. It's a pretty slow-paced game. So it looks like I could have skipped both these people. Running up here. But, I mean, I may as well just go and obliterate their stupid rock Pokemon, right? Trainers don't reset. Some gems have it. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense if they reset, because then you'd be able to, like, just farm it for more XP. And that would be silly. Wow. How bad would that really be, but... Alright, what's your second Pokemon? Oh, oh, oh! Level 16! You evolve mid-battle? Ooh, Onyx. No, we'll just keep battling. It's fine. You will get an item that lets you fight trainers in the overworld multiple times. <laughs> Alright, trainer battles are really good. Okay. So, the question is, how much crap does the boss- Oh, here we go! What? What? Catherine is evolving! Oh, that's right. The second form is nowhere near as cute. Congrats! Your Catherine evolved into Brinblup. 
Wants to learn the move Metal Claw. All right, we'll replace uh, Water Sport. Oh, it's a different screen for this one. So this is an actual steel attack. 95% accuracy, 50 power, which is pretty good. It may also raise the user's attack stat. I like that we're going to have three different types. So we'll get rid of Water Sport, right? Everyone's everyone's good with that? Three different types of stuff. Well, four if you counter a normal attack, although I'm sure we're going to replace it. Because she's a teenager now. She's starting to listen to metal. Yeah! First form, cute. Second form, meh. Third form, cool. Oh, cool. All right, excellent. I've never gotten that far. Steel beats ground? Oh, but not rock, probably. Water sport is a pure troll move. No one likes water sport. I should have counted, I'm sorry. Second form is always the weird middle stage. Metal claw! Too much metal for one hand! Alright, dude. Let's do this. Or or Pokemon Gym! I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I need to see the toughness of the Pokemon in the battle with you. Ground beats steel. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't check. Did my type change? I don't think it's going to matter for this, but... Bubble. Evolving Pokemon will boost their stats, but delay them learning moves and sometimes even prevent them learning. Very important one. Ah, when evolving Pokemon with uh, stones. Right, so there might be something like, conceivably, Piplup might be able to learn a move at 18 that um, that Primplup doesn't or something. So you might want to delay the evolution until then or some damn thing. That's a sort of, the, a sort of idea, in theory. So the third form gets the, the steel type. So is it steel flying or steel water? Probably steel water, because this is a penguin. I don't think flying is really what it does. It doesn't apply that much to the starter Pokemon. Catherine is still pure water, but she'll become water steel. Cool. And we leveled up again! Cranidos. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to keep battling. I'm assuming it's another rock and or ground. Oh! It's some sort of dinosaur thingy! He's adorable! Has He has Mold Breaker. I don't know what that is. But I'm gonna hit him with bubbles. Super effective, but not one shot effective. Oh, and a speed fell. He's leering at me. Cranidus is one of the fossil Pokemon. Oh! Okay. Neat. You can use the Heartstone at a later town to learn the moves that you missed if you weren't. Oh, I see. Uh, it's pure rock, so it's just 2x effective. That's why it wasn't one-shot kill. Next, let him there project a monster battle game. It could be! My buffed up Pokemon! I don't know, if you want a buffed up Pokemon, I think you gotta go with Machop! Official Pokemon League Cool Badge! Ooh. He sent you cannon. A cool badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. TM76. Stealth Rock. Flex damage on foes that switch into battle. Right. Single TM use. All right. Whee! Well, I guess we can leave. Um, I'm going to go here just to refill my PPs. If you go into your menu, you can shine your badges. Is it my bag? Or, or is it part of my Petra? Stealth Rock is for PvP. Most broken move in competitive. Useful for longer bad. Oh, where people are like intelligently switching back and forth and things. Oh, 
Open the badge case and shiny them. Okay. So. Go here. Oh! I'm rubbing the badge. I mean, it's making sound. Oh! It's shiny! Oh! I don't know if you can get, like, more shiny or anything. Sweet! PvP momentum is very important. You're always switching back and forth to Pokemon. Stealth Rock's very effective. Ah. Um, okay, so... We're here. Like, do we just wander? Is it... Like, I don't know where we're supposed to go. Do I go to Hearth Home City? I have a journal which is supposed to help me out with stuff. Back to Jubilife? Thank you. Because there was uh, there was something I could only do. There was a building I could only do if I had um, a badge. And anyway, here's Gandhi again. Got a gym badge. Turn to cities, next place the gym badge. So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get there without a bicycle. Made my team battle and toughened them up so it was no waste. Went back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna gym badge. Who's got time to count? Gotta go fast. Head north first. There's four sparkle version of shininess. Oh, so I could, should keep shining it. Hey, a Psyduck! I don't have one of you. Problem is, I don't want a one-shot Psyduck. Okay, good. It's using Water Sport! Psyduck is love, Psyduck is life. Uh, bag. Pokeballs. Here, we'll use that Premier Ball. Because it's exactly the same as a regular Pokeball, right? So we'll just get it out of our bag. I don't know. I want, I want chat to confirm, so I'll just use a regular Pokeball. All right. Pure water type. Worthless Pokemon. Only good for psychic moves. We could have an all bird comp. <laughs> Overwhelmed by enigmatic abilities. It suffers a constant headache. Oh, sometimes uses mysterious powers. That's so sad. Okay, let's give him a nickname. It's the name Pokeball. Okay. Pokeball reskin. Quill Duck? Oh, bird comp would be amazing. Brainiac? Howard! Howard. Howard the Howard the Psyduck. <laughs> Going for the bird percentage world record. <laughs> okay. So I couldn't get here before. Can I? Yes, Rock Smash. Putsin uses Rock Smash. Ooh, I want Putsin now real bad. There's tinted rocks. I should go and uh, hit them with a bomb, right? Oh, wait, I'm not playing Isaac. Oh, wait, I've, like, never played Isaac. When you get one with a shell, name it Sheldon. <laughs> Ooh, neat art. God damn it! Why don't I? Why can't I buy repels yet? Although I didn't check the shop after I, I beat the gym leader. Maybe I can buy repels now. I bet you I can. There are some rocks that have loot items under them. Oh my! So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go around smashing every rock. That would be. Not fun, right? 
Pretend is French fries with gravy. No, pretend is French fries with cheese curds and gravy. It's very important that it's cheese curds. If you get somewhere and they offer you pretend with just like shredded cheese on top, just like throw it in the waiter's face. Just, ah, my face is burned by melted cheese and gravy. Yeah, well, that's what you deserve for trying to serve shredded cheese and calling it poutine. I don't even know if it should be here. It's just going to be infested with goddamn Zubats. But it was here, and therefore I need to check. Some some rocks have special Pokemon. Are you just trolling me? Because I'm not going around smashing every goddamn rock. Zubats are annoying in any gen. Why do you say Putin that way? Because that's the way it's pronounced. Well, I mean, that's the French way. Putin. Christa Tamanactus Chicodis. I'll just keep pounding these. Catch a gold bat in here? Oh. We have a Zubat already. It's called Wayne. Wayne the Zubat. Oh my god, I rotate in place and summon an extra fight. And these are worth like no XP. This is like anti speedrun shit going on here. No kidding about rocks being in rocks being Pokemon, but in my case they're always Geodudes. Oh, it's like you think it's a rock, but it's a Geodude and it attacks you or something. Flash, oh my god, you can avoid ganks. <laughs> yeah, poutine. Um, like, the second emphasis is, is more of an Anglo way of saying it. I mean, it's not wrong. But poutine is more of a French way of saying it. Yeah. Someone says poutine. You can tell they're, they're English. Hello, Geodude. Goodbye, Geodude. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We could train our other Pokemon, that's true. Do we want to just train Luftwaffle? We could be training Zubat as well, but... But yeah, backup Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. Let's bring Luftwaffle up there. Oh, there's something else over here. Wait, how am I going to get that one? Oh, and there's someone down here. No Fawful greater than Zubat for now. Can I smash this big rock? No. Hello. See those bumps in the ground? Oh yeah, you can jump when you're on a bike. Um, I don't think I can smash this either. So I'm dead ended now. Okay. Hello, Psyduck. I already have one of you. You can go behind the rock? Oh. Yay, water sports. Nice. We might just be able to keep powering up uh, Luftwaffle right now until at least the evolution level or, or something. Oh, okay, the big rock there. So, I see. There's a space. Here's, you're just going to get more fights here. Because why not? Go, Luftwaffle. Find one. Get a whooper. It's a ground and water type. And learn ice moves like ice beam. A whooper? Starly evolves at 14. Ah.
But yeah, we're not getting a ton of XP for these, but... I see. Aha! Big Pearl! Okay, we have a Big Pearl, you guys. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, the rocks respawn. So you have to make sure to, like, always have your rock smashing Pokemon in. Wait, what would happen there if Bidoof had gotten fainted by something? Would we have still been able to smash the rock, or would we have to use some sort of rope to escape? Pearls are useless, but they sell for a lot. Oh, okay. Um, I think I can just, like, hop down here and go this way, right? And I look there. Yeah, I can't go there. So I'm in Jubilife City again. Now, there was a building I couldn't check before. Oh, hello. You can still use the moves when fainted. Oh, okay. So you're just, like, grabbing the unconscious Bidoof and sort of, like, smashing the rock with it. A uh, pal pad? A uh, pal pad, Peter. Anyone visiting the Pokemon Center basement? Okay. No one shady in Jubilife City. Therefore, take my after investigation elsewhere. Remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Dude, I'm like an eight-year-old child. I'm allowed to run around with, like, carn <laughs> like carnivorous creatures. Um, so that was in the basement of this building? There's no basement here. I must have gotten confused about the building. <laughs> Unconscious fleeing, flying is neat. So yeah, there was a building over here I could enter in the previous little alleyway here. Oh my god! Stupid plants. Oh, let's go and heal Psyduck. We've talked to all the clowns. I've got my I got my thingy. I probably will keep the Zubat. I guess I, I mean I guess I'll bank this Zubat for now, because I mean I'm not planning on using him. Um because I've got a good flyer, and that way there's a chance we'll we'll pick someone else. I guess you can like sort your boxes for I don't know. That that oh. No, I didn't want to do that. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, the stairs are here. Oh! They were blocked before, but now they're not blocked. Hello. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a Pokemon Wi-Fi club. Palpad. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Uh-huh. I don't have any friends. I don't like friends. Friends are annoying. Nope. Do you have a set team in mind? I don't I don't even know who the Pokemon are. Like, no. I don't have a set team in mind. I've never, like, this is I think is as far as I've ever gotten. So this was blocked before. Although that's just another Wi-Fi symbol, so. Yeah, no, okay. I think we're gonna go north here. Was that the idea? Lorama. Eterna City is where um, uh, Gandhi is going next. So, I don't know. We'll go north through Florama Town or whatever. And then we'll go to Eterna City, which is apparently the next gym. Place isn't working as Nintendo shut down the service. Oh. Well, there you go. What? What's going on here? Mystery Man. Now, 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 Professor Rowan. You must comply. Hand over all your research findings. For free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Leave Lucas alone! He's my... Damn it, I don't know what the male form of waifu is. I don't, I don't, I don't me me. I don't may me uh, that well about, uh, about that stuff. Uh, Petra, well, how is the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's the Orba. Yes, I've got the gym badge. But hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Husbando? Really? Okay. Lucas is my husbando. Uh, I'm never going to forgive myself for saying that. Oh, Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. We're saying we demand you comply with our demands. 
Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. One, don't loiter for no good reason. Don't interrupt others while they're attempting to come first. If you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Don't think you've grown strong, grown strong just because you're in a group. What is it with those outlandish outfits you have on? My goodness, you call yourself adults? You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Yeah, you had to make this personal. You have forced your hand into making a show of force. We'll make you regret insulting Team Galactic! You kids, give these thugs a lesson civility, please. Petra, join me and battle these guys! Alright. Stardew Valley multiplayer in Alpha? What? That's awesome! Okay, these are cool looking opponents. Stunky? <laughs> Stunky's a great name. And Glamiao. Well, meow. Okay, before we fit, do this fight, I'm going to take uh, two minutes to go bio. Uh, I got to go pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> 